Harry will be joined by Meghan Markle during a public appearance on Monday in New York as the Duke of Sussex delivers a speech before the UN General Assembly to mark Nelson Mandela Day. It will be the couple's first official appearance since their visit to the UK for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex met Mr Mandela's widow Graca Michelle during a visit to Johannesburg in South Africa in October 2019. Ms. Michelle said at the time she could feel the vibe and was sure she and the Sussexes would work together in the future. However, news of Harry's speech has been criticised by leading royal commentator Angela Levin, who penned a biography of the prince. Ms. Levin claimed in a tweet published online today, July 12, Harry giving speech about Nelson Mandela at UK on Monday. Would he have got it without being a member of the royal family that he couldn't wait to leave? GB News presenter Eamon Holmes has also criticised the announcement. He opened a segment of his show, How Has Prince Harry Been Invited to the United Nations? In response to being told Harry was a name and a former member of the royal family, he replied, What's he got to say that will change the world, or influence the world? Vanity Fair royal editor Katie Nichol argued back, Joking aside, I think if climate change is on the agenda, then Harry is probably going to be pretty impressive on that front. In response to Ms. Levin's tweet, fellow Twitter user Ezekiel Les commented, His mother worked tirelessly here in Africa. So yes he deserves the platform. Twitter user TMC replied with a photo of Meghan speaking at a UN event and chimed in, Yes, he's more than capable with or without the royals as Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, has done before she even met Prince Harry. Okay.